This video we're going to learn the this implicit parameter. When an object calls a method, it's known as an implicit parameter of the member's method. Within a member method, the implicitly passed object reference is accessible with the keyword this. And using this in a class is required in a method where the name of the parameter matches the name of the field. Let's take a look at where this is required in a Java program and why you need to use it. In class person, we have two instance fields, name and age. And I have setter methods for set name and set age. And I also have getter methods for get name and get age. And then in my class demo, which has the main method, I created a person called A, set that person's name to Bob and the age to 20. And then I print out that Bob is 20 years old. So everything looks great so far, but let's take a look and re-examine these set methods. Take a look at the parameter names, n and a. So I know that n is kind of an abbreviation for name and a is an abbreviation for age because they start with the same letter. But why do I need two identifiers that represent the same thing? What if I just said name instead of n? And then I said age instead of a. So I don't get any compiler errors in my program but let's see how it affects the results when I run my main method again. So earlier we got Bob is 20 years old. Now watch what happens. We get null is zero years old. So what just happened in our program? That doesn't make any sense. We just renamed our parameter to something else. So let's take a look and check this out. Let's go back and let's change age back to A. And notice that when I highlight age in Eclipse, it highlights it everywhere in my program. It highlights it here, highlights it there in the set age method, and it highlights it in the get age method. But notice that if I change it to age, it's the, for the parameter and for what I'm assigning it to, and I highlight age again. It doesn't highlight any of the ages here, but it highlights it in the get age method. So why is it not highlighting it there? So what happened? By naming your parameter the same name as your field, what it's really doing is it's setting the parameter to the parameter. It's setting the age 20 to 20. That's what it's doing. It's not setting the field to 20, it's setting 20 to 20. And the same thing here, it's setting Bob to Bob rather than setting the name field to Bob. So how do I fix it? How do I keep the parameter names, the same names as the fields, and still get this to work? So what you need to do is simply stick this in front in front of the field name on the left hand side. This dot name is name and this dot age is age. That allows you to name your parameters the same name as your fields in your set methods. And if you save it and run the program again, it's back to normal. So that is the only time that this is required in a class. And you could have also used this in your getter method. I could have said return this.age. Makes no difference, but totally optional here, but you didn't need it because there's nothing that's causing any kind of confusion in this method that's coming from a parameter like we saw in the set name and set age methods.